Hello there, welcome back. Today I'm down at Dramatic Aquatics and they are now open. Now you may have seen this shop in a previous video that I did. Um, I think I did that one maybe two or three weeks ago when they were still setting up. It's now fully, well, almost fully set up in that they've got all the systems running, all the stock is in, but the fish are not in yet. Not in all the tanks anyway. They are in a few of the tanks. They're just waiting for the water to warm up, for it to mature, and then they're gonna start stocking the rest of the tanks with the fish. But so far, it's looking very, very good. Just behind me here, we've got a huge octagonal plant tank. And in one of Andy's videos, you can actually see this thing being made. It was quite an achievement actually getting this thing up and running. But now, it's full of plants, which are ready for sale. There you go, check that out. Each section flows into the other section, and they're all full of very good quality plants by the looks of it. And that's looking into the middle of the plant tank, where they've got some really wild colour changing bubbles. That gives a really nice effect. And they've also got a few very nice plants that are planted on the bogwood. This is from a Dutch company. They're quite impressive. There's a few of the bread and butter sort of fish. The common types of fish have already gone in and they look nice and happy. Water's obviously good for them, which it should be because they've got gigantic sumps servicing these systems. And if you're looking straight onto that bio wall, it looks like a huge eye. Now that's one of the 105 bio orbs. Oh, just look at that effect. It's like a huge marble. That looks awesome. I see from the size of my hand compared to that orb, it's a real monster. It's got everything you could need in the way of ornaments and food as well, on the various shelves around the shop and also underneath some of the tanks as well. And there's some really nice lumps of bogwood. Look at that, you just imagine that. Planted with some java fern. Very nice. Now this monstrous tank that's right in the middle of the shop is actually 700 UK gallons. Which when you take the sump into account as well, is approximately three and a half thousand litres. And that equates to about a thousand US gallons. Now that's bigger than most people's ponds. Still a little bit cloudy because it's got a sand base and when you put sand in a tank it generally throws up a lot of very fine dirt. But that is settling out. They only put the sand in, I think, two days ago, so it will settle out. And when it does settle out, that's going to look absolutely magnificent with all the big fish in. Now, as I mentioned before, most of the tanks haven't got fish in, although there is a few little goldfish in there. And Andy's just going to show us one of the sumps. This is the bank that's going to have the discus in. Okay, so the water enters from the right and it goes through all those foams, then passes into a moving bed filter which is just starting to move now. That's um, Helix filter media. It then goes into Alpha Grog and it then goes into some Bio Home Maxi Ultimate. We've got a spare compartment next to it in case any more media needs to be added. And then in the end one, we've got the pump. We've just done a water change, so the water's a little bit low in there. And this is the sump below where the hard water cichlids are going to go. So that's the Malawis and Tanganyikans. Drops through the foams, through the grog, into a moving bed, which isn't moving just yet. We haven't put the air pump in. And then it goes through some pumice. And this is 30 to 50 mil pumice. So unfortunately, quite a lot of it's still floating. How weird does that look? You've got the stuff that's sunk on the bottom and then you've got floating rock on the top. But that will sink in time. And they haven't quite finished putting the rest of the stuff in the sump. 
but you're going to have plenty of filtration in there. Now the reason they've put the pumice in this particular system is because it has a specific pH of about 8.0. It's also highly mineralized as well. And as the water flows over it and through it, it helps to mineralize the water and it buffers the pH up to where those particular cichlids like it. Not many people use that particular media for African cichlids and I don't know why because it does do a really, really good job. Um, I'll, I'll make a video in the future specifically about the different sorts of pumice and explain that more. But it is a very, very good one for hard water cichlids. Now just a quick note on the magnificent artwork that surrounds this shop. Look at that. The whole of the top of the polytunnel has got an extra skin on and it's been painted. Sharks, and, oh man, manta rays and all sorts of dolphins and everything. And if you notice all those little fish up there being chased by that shark, on a night they actually disappear because they're painted on the outside of that skin. It's, it's like a Corex board which is not see-through but it is translucent. So when it's dark outside and when the lights are on inside, more fish appear and some of the other ones disappear so you get different effects from day to night. And if you want to check out the guys that did this, I'll put the link to their channel in the video description as well. So there you go, that's where the shop's at at the moment. It is open, but it's not fully, fully set up. But it is looking very, very good. And when this gets full of those big fish, it's going to look absolutely awesome when people walk in and see what's in here. If you want to be kept up to date with how the shop's progressing and what stock's going in and out, Please check out Andy's channel which is Dramatic Aquatics, the link is in the video description and if you've got any questions to ask about what is going to be stocked and whether they can get certain things in, please ask Andy because as I said at the beginning of this video, I don't have anything to do with the shop, I'm literally just coming down to show you guys. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time.